the bull claw hitch uh, uh, is uh, named presumably because the fact that uh, this is a claw hitch and uh, well the rest of the knot is much uh, similar to a bull hitch. Uh, I will show now how to tie this knot. Uh, there are some guides on the net and uh, actually I have too tried to uh, upload a video uh, of this uh, how to tie this knot. Uh, however it turns out that uh, we have uh, or at least I have uh, misunderstood uh, the whole concept and uh, and the last video I uh, uploaded was showing a very uh, difficult method of tying this knot. Because uh, uh, the fact is, this is a bull hitch, a claw hitch. And, uh, and therefore, uh, the idea to uh, tie this is to start with the claw hitch and not the opposite way. That I have used to done before. So uh, now I will show how to tie this knot. First, I have to untie this. I have tightened this, and uh, so you can see that it got pretty tight, and it might actually be uh, difficult to untie if uh, if it's very tight. But uh, this time it was pretty simple and easy to get. Uh, this is a tib knot. That it means it could be you. You can tie this without having access to the ends. Um, so what I do, I start. I start to tie a claw hitch. Two loops like this and put the second loop behind the first loop like this and this is basically a claw hitch right I'm gonna make the two loops a little smaller just for my own coins to make it easier for myself to tie this then the two ends from the claw hitch. I made I made a double bite. Yeah, I have to excuse my English because I might uh, use wrong terms. But I have to. I want to finish this video, so I put the two bites into the loops. Of the claw hitch like this. This is the my claw hitch, and this is the two bytes like this. Then, well, the thing is that the claw hitch will be upside down now, so I have to dress this. I have to keep this bite with my fingers like that so I don't lose it and uh, it's easy to get confused and uh, to lose control of this so this is the, the claw hitch now I have tightened it and and this is the, the uh, bytes that I uh, put through the claw hitch and, uh, and this is actually the uh, not the bull claw hitch, the finished product, if I can call it that. This is the, uh, in my opinion, the easiest way to tie this um, because it uh, uh, gives a slightly better understanding of uh, how the knot actually is uh, put together. There is other ways to tie it, but uh, I found that those other ways uh, was uh, 
Uh, there was a 50% uh, 50 chance to succeed with the knot using the other methods. I don't uh, actually know why, but I didn't really get it to work every time. But this method I get to work every time I try to tie. So I will suggest you to use that method. Thanks for watching.